was you bus tables, uh, maybe your bartender somewhere, your server somewhere, your waitress somewhere. Understand, right? Like, don't let anybody laugh at you for trying to get your hustle on, for you to try to make that money while you're in school. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about that. You're a champion, girl. You, you, you're a champion, my guy. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sweeney and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that they're God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And also, make sure you click on that notification button so you get notified for all the upcoming videos. Well, one of the things we'll be talking about is how to become successful this school year. We talked about forming those successful habits that's going to help you to be there. And I want to take this time just to encourage some of you guys who are students and you're working. You're, you're taking a job right now, whether you're working part-time or on a full-time basis while still going in school. I just want to encourage you. You're a tremendous individual. You're one of a kind. Like You're a true champion. See, a lot of the time people would have excuses of, you know, I can't study because I'm in school. I have to work. You know, I have to provide for my family. But you understand the responsibility that you have to provide for yourself, for your family, for others, responsibilities that you have, and still go ahead and acquire the knowledge necessary for you to build your dreams and the goals you want for your life. So I just want to salute you. I want to salute the hard work you're putting into it. I want to salute the long hours hours that you're giving to make sure you get that money but also you get some knowledge so in the words of eric thomas knowledge is the new money get you some and for those of you guys watching and you're de debating and thinking about perhaps actually go getting a job because you need the money or whatever the financial situation you might find yourself into and you're still in school i want you to understand that it's really not an easy road to do so you know to be honest it's be ideal for you to strictly focus on your study but you might find yourself in a situation where you do have to get a secondary job uh do get another way to supplement the income so that they can you can be able to pay for your tuition pay for your living pay for other expenses that you you might have uh, i speak from experience because that was my reality throughout my whole undergraduate degree from basically my first year to my last year i had to get a job i worked on campus i worked off campus working on campus was really ideal for me and that's something i would advise for you as well trying to find a job that's going to be understanding of your workload so usually often enough jobs that are on campus, most universities don't try to give you more of a work that's gonna interfere with your study. So it could be a work study job. You know, there's sometimes grants that uh, professors get to they can that that means it's money that they can apply towards a research or something like that. So you can work on a research, basically get paid to study what you're studying already. So that's the best way to do so for you to generate some income by not really get too um, focused based on what you're working. You also want to make sure that if you're thinking about a job, um, think of a job that's not going to be taking less strain on your mental aptitude. What I mean by that is you don't want a job that, really, that asks you to do too much strenuous thinking because you're already doing that in class, right? So you want to do something that is much easier on you. Um, you know, some of the often enough some students some Sometimes what they do is you bus tables, uh, maybe your bartender somewhere, your server somewhere, your waitress somewhere. Understand, um, right? Like, don't let anybody laugh at you for trying to get your hustle on, for you to try to make that money while you're in school. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about that. You're a champion, girl. You, you, you're a champion, my guy. Like, for you guys and what you're doing, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of the fact that you've committed to the fact that I'm gonna do whatever I can to get that success. I'm gonna tell you the story of a friend of mine when I was on my undergrad degree. I have a lot, tremendous amount of respect for this young lady. When we were in school, um, she didn't. She did not have enough money to go and pay for the tuition at the particular school that we attended, which was relatively high. It was it's one of the premier school here in the United States. And one of the things that was interesting is, ever since I've known this girl, she worked really hard. She had multiple jobs, and she was still holding her weight in class. There was a couple classes that we had together, and she was still able to get pretty good grades. Uh, even sometimes she'll work late shift and still go to the library. I'll still find her out there trying to study. Uh, she's still trying to mix in a little bit of social life as much as she could, but she stayed diligent. I remember a conversation we had one time, and she was telling me of how, like, sometimes you have to make the current sacrifices because you look at the long-term impact of what is going to happen if you do make it right so for her 
It was her younger brothers. She had two younger brothers that were looking up, up to her because she was the first of her family. She came from an immigrant family. She was the first of her family to be able to make it this far into the university level. So she had two younger brothers that needed a role model. So she understood that she had to pay the price almost. You know what I mean? She had to pay the price to do whatever she needed to do to be where she needed to be. So I want you to understand, like, you might be facing a situation right now financially that you find like that's really strained and you, it's forcing you to go to, to work. I don't want you to feel like you're, you're a loser or you failed or like it's the end. No, it's not. It's just another step. It's, it just means you have to adjust. It means that maybe some things have to change a little bit and you continue. You can do it. This is your year to start. I want you to always remember that the knowledge you're acquiring right now is going to increase your value. It is sometimes tenfold, a hundredfold in the future. That's all for me today. I want to say again, I'm super proud of you guys. If you have any stories that you would like to share with me about your journey, or you would like for me to send you a message of encouragement about your journey, or you, you're not sure really what to do, what things to do, I want you to know I've been there before. I worked for a long time. I was about three, four years in one office, and I worked at other places. So I understand what it means sometimes to sacrifice for the goals and the dreams you want. And today, when I look back into it, it was all worth it. Uh, I want to let you know, if you have any questions, make sure you send any of your emails to the address on the screen, as you can see there, and we can be able to help you. You can also get some cool uh, emails with motivation, insights, any great things. Go to salemsaying.com so you can check out some of the other stuff that are coming up as well, any blogs, any things like that. Listen, that's all for me today. Make sure you subscribe to the page, get that notification button so you get any of the upcoming videos. Remember. You are God's very best, a true champion. I'm proud of you. See you next time.